This is the Hotworks Cafe in Hornbury. Lovely horse, beautiful. Um, they basically started up uh, during COVID and uh, attracted all the cyclists from around the area to come here for coffee because they're about the only people that were open. And, um, oh, he's a big boy. And um, I lost my train of thought there. Yeah, so uh, over COVID and um, the word got out and all the cyclists just swarmed here. Really great place, run by a great lad, Sam. He's not here today, but he's subsequently done a lot of work to this place. He's gone from a little caravan to a nice unit. And um, we're just putting a, a review of our bikes. Caledonia's, Caledonia 5. Harold has the one year, I've got the 21, I think he's got the 22, eh, Harold? 22? Yeah, 22. 22, 21. Just difference in the, the, the stickers, the decals, but basically, and you'll see, you've got the SRAM. And I've got DI2. Um, so apart from the, the group sets, the bikes are identical. And the stickers, of course. And um, I've got I've, a bit of wheels. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's got zips. <laughs> I've got hunts. And um, and I've, I've got a 56 frame. He's got a 61 frame. Now Harold's six foot three. I'm six foot. That's a big jump. I went onto the Cervelo website and they said I needed a six uh, 56. Harold went onto Sigma website and they said he needed a 61. And uh, tell us a bit about that, Harold. Yeah. So I got the 61 um, as per Sigma website. And for a year and a half, two years, I've battled a bit with it, especially on steep downhills, yep. high speeds. I got high speed speeds. wobbles once in wind. Yep. I like bad speed wobbles, like quite out close to white light stage. Um, and I've battled since kind of fitted in that. But what I found out after that is if you go to the Chavello website, and actually it happened when I got my gravel bike, so when I got my yeah. Canyon, um, it's a 58. And I just suddenly felt so much more confident on the corners and on the road and on the downhill. Went and checked the Trebello website, and absolutely, it says I must get a 58 on their sizing. Yep. But I went and checked the Sigma website again. It still says I must get a 61. They've got the customer sizing in there. It's yeah. not the official Cervelo sizing. It's really bad because it's a massive difference. And what have you had to do this bike to try I, and make it fit I've you? I spent so much money on trying to get fitted. I changed. I was told to change the handlebars, make them narrow. So the headset to make it shorter. Yeah. Now to do that on these bikes and and get a, and get a seat post that goes straight up, not back. A straight up seat post. So yeah. basically, bring it, make it You're shorter. You're talking 200 quid, 250 quid for each component. Yeah. Because it's all completely Chevello custom. You yeah. can't just put any on it. Only to find out it was worse. You know, so, so after all that, basically you had to have the bike rebuilt, yeah. all the bits put on, and it was even worse, yeah? And I had to just refit it again to what it is back now. So I spent money to put it all back again. Yes, but it's still not ideal, and I can just feel it just because, again, when I get on my canyon, compared to when I'm on my Chibala, on a downhill, flats, long distance, everything else is bike is beautiful. Yep. But you just feel like you're just too high when you're heading downhill. You just haven't got that low center of gravity that you need. Yeah. So, uh, so I think there's, there's a lesson there. Um, always go to the official website to check your sizing. Don't don't trust the the bike shop to have it correct. Yeah, and if Sigma's listening, change your bloody sizing. Yeah, Sigma sort it out. Oh, this bike's coming back to you, man. For the full value, full cost. But otherwise, I mean, it is a great bike. And, uh, they are brilliant bikes. Absolutely, brilliant. absolutely love it. And I love the SRAM on them as well. My Travello was when I moved from Specialized with um, Shimano to SRAM. Yeah. And to me, the Night tram, once you get used to it, it's just so much easier with gloves on. I absolutely agree. Uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not a happy DR2. I do keep forgetting to charge the battery, but anyway, that's my fault. But yeah. yeah. And with the SRAM, you just can't take a spare battery. Exactly. You just carry one in your, in your tool bag. Exactly. But um, anyway, I'm absolutely fantastically happy with my bike, and uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. But um, yeah, Harold's just had the wrong size, otherwise it would be a perfect bike. Yep. So that's it, Caledonia 5. Um, great bike, wrong size. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know about that. Look away now. Uh, we're going to have a bell race comparison. Harold loves his Garmin bell, gadget bell, and his Garmin device. Give us a ring, Harold. All right, of course. All right, so fast fingers. I go three, two, one. Handle, hands off the handlebars, please. Off the bell. Three, two, one. Too slow, you're dead.